The Midwest is about to be locked into a brutal winter pattern, with not just one but multiple snowstorms lined up. This will more than likely bring several inches to most of the United States, especially across the north. And if you think it's cold now, just wait. We are tracking a fast-changing jet stream, dangerously low wind chills, and several rounds of heavy snowfall. That could disrupt travel. Welcome back, everybody. It is Thursday, January the 15th, 2026. I hope you all are having a great day because I'll tell you what, the weather pattern is about to get out of control as we go into the weekend into all of next week with several rounds of Arctic outbreaks on top of potential big snowstorms for the Midwest impacting for parts of the Great Lakes and the Northeast. So in this video, we'll be breaking down all those details on how much snowfall will you see and just how cold it's going to get for some locations across the Great Lakes and the upper Midwest, including for the Northern Plains. So to start off this discussion, here's a look at the latest geocolor satellite imagery looking at the entire United States. And we can clearly see where all of that cold Arctic air is right now. It's way up here in Canada and it is on the move. It is going to be into the Midwest in the next day or two, impacting the Great Lakes in the wake of this nice good snowstorm, impacting the Great Lakes, moving out towards the Northeast. And this wash, rinse, and repeat of this weather pattern is going to continue for the next week or two, bringing repeated Arctic outbreaks and that colder air meeting up with Gulf moisture is going to unleash some big snowstorms for the Midwest. So brace yourself with what you're about to see on the global computer models. So here's a look at the European model for this afternoon. And as we look at the weather forecast over the next week and a half to two weeks, it is going to get very interesting, really active when it comes to the potential for big snowstorms and several of them lined up out there with that colder air. So this is for the afternoon and you can see lots of colder air will be on the way down into the day tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, it's going to be much colder here across the Dakotas, across the upper Midwest and the Northern Plains because that Arctic air that is going to come down. But it's not just one Arctic outbreak. There's going to be several of these lined up throughout all of next week. So please brace yourself. Enjoy whatever warmth you have left because it's going to get cold. So, and that's also going to stir up winter storms. So we have another one of those little winter storms that are going to get stirred up here across the Northeast. Now it does look like on the Euro, not as interesting down here for the deep South. And so the confidence on any meaningful snowfall down here now looks to be decreasing just a little bit. I'm not saying you won't see snow, but you're more than likely not going to see six or seven inches as what we were forecasting yesterday and the day before. And instead, it's going to be a little lighter. But the cold air that is going to be filtering in will be very, very notable. All right, so let's move this forward here into Sunday morning. So Sunday morning, that's where you do have a little bit of snowfall. All right, and this is for hour 72. If we go to and look at the GFS for the same time frame, you can see the GFS still wants decent snow down here. It is very remarkable that there is still some disagreement amongst the Euro and the GFS on exactly where and when the snow is going to fall. If we look at the GFS model here that is snow lovers happy, there's going to be some pretty decent snow down here across parts of Panama City, Pensacola, Florida, as well as central Georgia, like Augusta, Georgia, into Atlanta. Yeah, getting a little bit of snowflakes out there for your Sunday morning. What a nice day to start off the week is getting some snow there. And even for parts here of Augusta into the Carolinas, getting some decent snow. We'll see. We may be going live on this if necessary Saturday. It's going to be a Saturday event. So that's something that we will need to consider um, on the channel here because of a rare snow event for Florida as well as for the Carolinas and the eastern seaboard. But that system does not get to be too strong at all for the Northeast as what some of the other model runs did show off of the GFS, which indicated a big nor'easter. Doesn't look like that's going to happen this time, but the snow down here is definitely going to be once in a lifetime. 
not saying once in a lifetime, I didn't mean to say that, but it doesn't happen very often. Maybe once every 15 to 25 years, you'll get a snowstorm down here that does dump a lot. But if we go back and look at the Euro, yeah, Euro doesn't have, is not as enthusiastic with the snow, at least for central Georgia. Still a bit enthused a little, about a little bit of snow, maybe some ice and sleet in the mix there for parts of Florida into southern Georgia. So that is something to consider here for the day Sunday morning. Okay, if you're going to church, if you're going shopping at a grocery store, if you're simply going um, shopping in general, you're definitely going to need to be paying close attention here to the YouTube channel for high-resolution model guidance because once those come in, we'll be providing updates on that here on the channel with live coverage if necessary. And that system goes on by. Now, zooming back out here, there's going to be more of these storm systems coming in. Here's another one moving across the Great Lakes. That's going to kind of kind of whip up a little bit of cooler, more unstable air from the Great Lakes, and that's going to lead to more chances of lake effect snow with that Arctic air that is going to be in place. All right. Then another low pressure system brings in a little bit of snow across the Great Lakes into the Northeast. And this would be for Tuesday and a Wednesday next week. That's the time frame that we're looking at here for the 21st of January. But it doesn't end there. It does not go anywhere. This pattern is going to stick around for a while. And we will have to watch this little guy down here with an Arctic high to the north of this. This could turn into something pretty significant. Right now, the Euro is like, oh, it doesn't look too significant, and I'm pretty confident that it's not going to be a big system at all. We look at prior model runs, it wasn't really there, but something did want to spin up there later down the road, which it still indicates that. So we can see here that system eventually comes to life and does impact parts of the eastern seaboard here, like Pennsylvania, Parts of Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, including for West Virginia, including also for Columbus, Ohio. Going to get a little bit of snow, and that would be for not this weekend, but next weekend. That would be January 24th. This is very far out, by the way. Almost 10 days. And then this is when it gets pretty concerning. Big amount of cold Arctic air. We'll be looking at temperatures meeting up with any moisture coming off the Gulf. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's when we could have big time problems, either a lot of rain or a lot of snow for the Ozarks and for the Corn Belt states here of the Midwest and the Deep South. Yeah, something to really pay close attention to because, yeah, that's what could end up happening for the Deep South if the timing is wrong. Big time snowstorm there for the eastern seaboard. As we go into Sunday, the 25th of January, I know this is very far out, but boy, oh boy, pattern recognition, cold Arctic air coming out of Canada into the Midwest with warm air coming off the Gulf. When these two both collide, folks, it's going to be a problem. It really is. So now how much snowfall will you see over the next 10 days through Sunday, January 25th, 2026? Well, when we take a look here at the Great Lakes, of course, that's where a lot of lake effect snow will be plaguing much of the Great Lakes, including Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, Lake Huron, Lake Superior, getting a lot of snow out of the uh, off the Great Lakes here. Anywhere between 12 to 24 inches, depending on exact location. All right, this is not really combining the big snowstorms that are going to wreak havoc later on in the period, potentially. With, look at this, the European model indicating possibly two to three feet of snowfall over Watertown, New York. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to be live streaming if necessary with these lake effect snowstorm events that unfold. Over Buffalo, New York, looking at probably about two feet of snowfall for sure with the, the series of colder air masses that move over the Great Lakes. So really, most of the snowfall over the next 10 days will be hugging the upper Midwest, the Northeast, and the Great Lakes, including for the Northern Plains. But thereafter, as we go down the road, it's where we could get more low-latitude stuff, more additional snowfall for the Rockies and for the Eastern Seaboard. But of course, this is really far out, and so don't bet on it. Please don't bet on it, but the pattern is there. We have to look at pattern recognition 
cold Arctic air is coming out of the north. It's just a matter of will the colder Arctic air run in and clash into the moisture coming off the Gulf and create us some big snowstorms. It's a thing that we don't know exactly yet, but what we do know is if they do happen, yeah, big time snowfall for the eastern seaboard. So now let's talk about temperatures because I'm very concerned about how cold it's going to get on top of wind chill values that are very, very alarming and extreme by all means for the month of January. If you think it's cold right now, just wait until you see the latest euro that I'm about to show you and the GF or yeah, the latest euro and its wind chill forecast, because I'll tell you what right now, you have not seen a true Arctic outbreak in quite some time. That's what we're looking at here. And so as we move this forward, yes, it's cold, temperatures in the teens and even some single digits up here across the Northeast, but <laughs> I'm telling you all, I'm not trying to laugh here. It's going to get a lot colder. It's especially up here in the upper Midwest, you got temperatures negative 5, negative 10 degrees below zero for Saturday. Yeah, very cold up here in uh, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, Canada. Negative 20 to negative 30 degrees below zero. You're used to that, but I'll tell you, negative 30 is a bit much for you all up there. Especially since you really haven't had a whole bit of Arctic outbreaks recently. So this is going to continue with really cold temperatures, even for the Midwest and stretching into the parts of Florida eventually down the line, especially by the middle of next week. That Arctic air mass kind of recedes with a new one coming in. Look at this. This right here, this would be for Monday, Monday morning. Yeah, this would be for Monday morning, the 19th of January. And this is really cold. Negative three degrees up here. You got negative eight degrees in Chicago. Up here in, say, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, pretty cold as well. Look at up here in La Crosse, um, Minnesota, as well as, say, Fargo, negative 15, negative 20 degrees below zero. It's very cold. It's going to stay with you all for a while because guess what? After that recedes, just keeps coming, just keeps coming. Really cold up here in uh, in Hudson Bay. That's ridiculous up there. Negative 45, negative 50 even. And then this is where it really gets concerning, especially around the day 10 mark. Yeah, these are very dangerously cold temperatures. Negative 25, negative 30 degrees. We even got negative 40 degrees up here. I know you don't see it very much, but my cursor, my readout here, negative 35 here. We got negative 37, negative 39 degrees below zero. That would be for Sunday, January 25th at four, about seven or eight in the morning. And then that colder air here could work its way down into the deep south here where you got temperatures in the low 20s in the overnight hours with temperatures definitely in the single digits and native territory over the Great Lakes. This would really be a problem, really seriously. And then that continues for a while and then keeps coming, more Arctic outbreaks. Now that we looked at the air temperature, let's take a look at the wind chill because boy, oh boy, you're gonna be clenching your fists when you see this and grinding your teeth like I do at night according to with my, what my dentist said this morning when I went to visit her. She said, you've been grinding your teeth probably because of this pattern that we're looking at. Wait until you see the wind chills. So wind chills here, negative two, negative 20, and then <laughs> negative 30. That's not even the worst of it. Negative 30 degrees in parts of the Great Lakes. Well, much of the Great Lakes. Northern Indiana, negative 20, negative 30 degree wind chills. And yes, near uh, Green Bay and Duluth. Yeah, might even get as cold as negative 50 degrees below zero. That's what the wind chill would be. And this continues for a while. Even down here, by the way, wind chill values as low as the low 20s in northern Florida. That recedes. until we get to day 10. Now this right here is a nail biter. 
This is really bad. This is very, very cold, negative 50, negative 60 degrees is what it would feel like with the wind chill, with the winds blowing. And look at these wind chill values, negative 35 in parts of Indiana, uh, Wisconsin, as well as Minnesota. Very cold. I mean, that's pretty dangerous. Negative 55 below zero. And then maybe more after that for parts of the Northern Plains, even across the West as well. Going to really need to watch that. Really concerned. So yeah, brace yourself, folks. This is not any, this is not that cold right now compared to with what will be happening in about a week and a half or two. But anyways, if you did find this video very helpful, detailed, informative, and life-saving, please give this video a huge thumbs up, hit the like button, share this video with their family and friends on social media. Please leave a comment in the section below. What are your thoughts about this upcoming extreme Arctic outbreak combined with the potential for big snowstorms? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below this video. As always, have a great rest of your Thursday on the 15th day of January, 2026. I'll be back with you more tomorrow.